are so many hidden gems in the Philippines. That is why we are making these videos about Tuklas Filipinas. And now, we're going to see the Hidden Falls. So what is this Hidden Falls? Hidden Falls is also called as Buntot Palos. So what is Buntot Palos? Well... waterfalls to visit on a day tour from Manila, the province of Laguna will surely make the cut. This is no doubt since there are lots of waterfalls in the province that are all within reach from the capital. Magsanghan Falls in Pagsanghan or Magdavio Falls in Cabinti will always come to mind since it is one of the tourist spots that were established and promoted to tourists ahead of the others. It was highlighted to us in our geography classes in our primary school years. There is also the Taitai Falls of Mai Hai. Another famous one, which may be smaller in size, but beautiful and mesmerizing just the same. Aside from the two mentioned, very few knew any other waterfalls in Laguna when in fact, there are so much more. The slightly known Burubinsan and the other six falls of Siniluan, Ambunabun Falls of Pangil, and Bunga Falls of Nagkarlan, and a lot more. Regrettably, due to its proximity to Manila, we often overlook the place tend to explore and discover unusual waterfalls and other spots in far-flung provinces without knowing that Laguna hides more secrets and surprises. Surprises like the splendid Puntot Palos Falls. Pangi Laguna A historic place in the home of majestic Buntot Palos Falls and the Ambonambun Falls, founded in the year 1579 by two Franciscan missionaries, Father Diego Oropesa and Father Juan Plasencia. The town's name is believed to have come from three coincidental instances. First, from a historical version that was named after the fang of a wild boar called Pangil in dialect. Second, from the version that accounts to the first native inhabitants of the town called Pangilagan. And the third version that was named after Gat Pangil, a chief who was ruling the settlements in the time the Spanish arrived, it is most logical among three versions. To go there by a public transport from Manila, you can either take the Santa Cruz Laguna bound bus from Cubao or Pasay, or the Infanta bound bus in Ligarda. The former goes to Eslex, while the latter traverses the back door that passes the towns of Rizal province. To go there by a public transport, these are the options. By LRT Buendia and Cubao Bus Terminal, if you are taking the Santa Cruz bound bus, get off at N Terminal. Transfer to a jeepney bound for Sinuluan and get off at Barangay Bayan Outpost. Register at the outpost and ask for a guide. Alternatively, you may also register and get a guide at Pangil Eco Park. Ideal time is to leave Manila at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. to start the trek on or before 8 a.m. while the sun is not too hot. Option 2. Via the Garda. Ride a bus going to Infanta and drop off at Sinulo and Laguna. From there, ride a jeepney going to Pangil Laguna. Option 3. Be a joiner. There are many affordable and comfortable travel events organized by experienced coordinators for you to save time and effort. The town of Pangil is one of Laguna's eastern town, in the area known as Manila's backdoor to southern Tagalog. But unlike the other waterfalls of Laguna, Bundut Palos is one of the toughest to reach because it requires at least two hours of trekking from its two entry points, Pangil Eco Park and Barangay Balian. Pangil Eco Park is now a well-developed resort. Locals call it the Eat Resort. It has pools, hanging bridge, gazebos, and function halls that you can rent for special events. But hidden inside the Eat Resort is Hambunambun Falls just one kilometer away from the resort. Zucker Trail by a Brangable Yan with Rachel, who is a local in this town. It's thought that this trail is a challenging one. 
She is the one who lead the trail for two hours to the falls. What a sight. It feels good to be with someone you love when you travel. These are the things I suggest you bring on your trip to Bundut Palus Falls. Trail foods, water at least 2 liters, sleepers or sandals, hiking shoes, swimming shoes, trash bag, medical kit, toiletries, extra clothes, cup or bandana, trekking pole, extra money, camera, power bank, extra battery, and don't forget to dry up your things by having a dry bag. The muddy and rocky trail ascends to approximately 400 meters into a forest area where only horses would traverse on rainy days. Sherman is a forested area. The combination of trees, coconuts, bananas, and other fruit-bearing trees are perfect. In addition to the greens, there are artistic rock formations that are picture-perfect which also add a more extreme hiking experience. If you want a more extreme experience, hike during rainy season. Kudut Palos has a deep muddy trail but has more water falling. Our trek is relatively easy and non-technical, yet a truly rewarding one, a real trekker street. So, we hike, before we go to the falls, we hike for two. We arrive here at Buntot Palos Falls. One of the grandest and highest waterfalls in southern Luzon and in the country, Bundut Palus Falls stands at 18 meters, with its water in high volume falling from the upper slope of Sierra Madre. The waters flow against geometrically to a beautiful wall, dropping to layers of huge and hard rocks overflowing into a deep, natural basin below and into the Pang River that ends in Laguna Lake. Tutpolos Falls is a wonder waiting to break out. Known to locals as Hidden Falls as it is hidden in the forested area of the southern range of Sierra Madre, Tutpolos is translated as Eel Stale. Why is it called such? I got an idea from a local. According to the guy that I had asked, the trails to the falls is a long, curvy, and slippery, similar to Eel's body or Palos in Tagalog. Waterfalls may look small in stills, but do not be deceived because it is a grand, massive, and furious one. If you are brave enough, try crossing the raging waters to the huge boulders where the waters plunge. At least, do it with extra care and with the aid of your guide. There are also small basins tucked in the wall below the rock layers, but going there means swimming in the deep natural pool. For added fun, try jumping off the waterfall's wall in the deep side of the pool, but I do not do it. Where to go after going to Buntot Palos Falls? If you're descending back, you might want to visit Mount Bikai, Ambunabun Falls, or the Bangil Eco Park. After our amazing trek to the falls, we descended back to Barangay Balian and we went to a nearby restaurant. So if you want to eat after an awesome hike, you can go to Romy's Paciteria in Paki Laguna, Vista's Art Space Restaurant in Paki Laguna. Jardinos Cafe in Siniluan, Laguna, and Fast Foods Restaurants located in Siniluan, Laguna. To give you an idea on how much to shell out, these are the primary expenses. You may register at Brangay Balian Outpost or Pangilaika Park, but there's no registration fee that they ask for donation. The guide fee is at 300 pesos for a group of at most of 5 people if you register at Brangay Balian Outpost, 100 pesos per person if you register at Pangil Eco Park. So, if you're looking for a day trek out of Manila, consider Buntot Palus Falls and be overwhelmed by its impressive grandness. You will never regret that you paid the visit and had the adventure to 
this amazing place. We can say that having a hike is having a break from our routine lives. A time to bond with people and nature. But the first time I went backpacking, I decided I would explore more. And it's time to discover more. I am Lemon Libero, and this is the Glass Filipinas.